Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is your man Alam. And today our video is talking about how to use calculator to find the z values of a prob probability distribution. It is an easy calculator hack that is going to help us in our statistics class. I shall be using this example to explain it very well. When we are talking about the probability distribution, which is of P of X, Q of X, and R of X, these are the things you will find in your calculator. And so, before you could key anything inside your calculator, your calculator must be in the start mode. As we can see here, it is not in the start mode. And so, to change it to the statistics mode, we press mode 3, which is our statistics. And then we don't need any of these, so we just press AC. And now our calculator is in the start mode. Now you can press Shift and then 1. You can see there's a start written over there. Press 1. Then 5, which is distribution. So we are dealing with probability distribution. So I press 5. Now the P here represents the first diagram. So anytime you see anything of this sort, we are using the first one, which is 1. So it represents values of z less than x. So any value that is given and the z is less than it, this is the area we shaded. And so you are using 1. Example, if you have been given probability of z less than 1.96, we are going to use the first equation to solve it. So I put 1. Now I type in the figure, so 1.96, then you hit the equal sign, and our answer here is 9, 0.975, alright. Now, when we are dealing with the second one, which is Q of X, we press shift, and then start, distribution, and then you can see that is 2. And this represents values of z lying between 0 and x. So any value of z that is between 0 and x, we are using the second formula, which is q. So I press 2. And then we key in the example here. Probability of z lying between 0 and 1.96. So I key in 1.96. 9.6 and hit the equal sign and our answer here is 0 0.475 and as we have seen over here now you realize that this is in the middle one way you can also find it after you have solved for the p of x here is that you know from 0 to negative infinity and then from 0 to positive infinity in the probability distribution the sums will give you 1. So it means that from 0 to the negative infinity, it is 0 0.5. And the positive side is also 0 0.5. So I'm going to take 0 0.5 from this answer that we have gotten. So if I pick 0 0.975 minus 0 0.5, you realize that we still have the same answer over there. And this is the other way we can get it. Now, the last one, which is the R of X. R of X. That is this one. So, this represents values of Z greater than X. Values of Z greater than X. And so, we pick the example given to us. So, let me 3, we key inside the value. 1.96 1.96 then hit the equal sign and our answer is 0 0.024998 which is the same as 0 0.025 if you have converted the 9 to the 4 it becomes 0 0.025 all right one way you can also drive it is after you have got your p of x so it means that you can always get it from the p of x over here now from this point to the last z is 1 
as I, as I told you, the probability is 1. So if I know from z less than x, then I can get z greater than x just by taking it from 1. So we can take this result from 1 and I'll have the same answer. So 1 minus 0 0.9 seven five and you still have the same answer so this is the other way you can get it so if this video has blessed you and you like it don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button so that you will not be left out if i release any new video and more to the point comment tell me the things that you need me to make um my videos on so that it will help you in your statistics class in your mathematics classes if you want any calculator trick hit my channel and it will be given on to you thank you have a nice day bye, -bye.